scientists have found that low oxygen conditions can spur the production of proteins that contribute to the spreading of breast cancer cells. John Hopkins University researchers discovered that low oxygen conditions triggered the elevated production of proteins, known as ROA and ROC1. Heightened levels of these proteins are known to give cancer cells the capacity to mobilize and spread to other regions of the body, leading to worse outcomes for breast cancer patients. Senior author of the study, Dr. Greg Semenza, explains that in order to move, cancer cells must prompt a number of changes to their internal structures. ROA and ROC1 are believed to play an integral role in the creation of these structures, allowing for the formation of parallel filaments in cancer cells that allows them to latch hold of external surfaces to haul themselves along. He adds, as tumor cells proliferate, the inside of the tumor starts to run out of oxygen since it isn't being fed by blood vessels. The lack of oxygen triggers a number of factors, which are the master control proteins that activate many genes that help the cells adapt to the low oxygen levels. To study this process further, lead study author Danielle Gilks initiated a series of laboratory studies. She discovered that when breast cancer cells were exposed to low levels of oxygen, they had much greater mobility compared with breast cancer cells exposed to normal levels of oxygen. In detail, it was discovered that the breast cancer cells had many more hands per cell and three times as many filaments, meaning they had much greater mobility. However, when Gilks increased the oxygen levels, the breast cancer cells had reduced movement, as well as a reduction in the number of filaments and hands.